So the very last type of reaction that we're going to look at are combustion reactions. And so what happens in a combustion reaction is that a hydrocarbon, which is, as the name implies, hydrogen and carbon, and then sometimes oxygen, so a compound containing two or three of those elements, reacts with oxygen. Okay? And it produces every single time carbon dioxide and water. That's it. The only challenging thing about writing combustion reactions is the balancing. All right? So where do you see combustion reactions? Whenever you see a fire, that is a combustion reaction. The hydrocarbon, so for example, in our Bunsen burners, that is the gas that's provided. The oxygen is in, in the air. And by lighting your Bunsen burner, you're giving that reaction the energy needed to produce carbon dioxide and water. Now, the reason why combustion reactions produce so much heat is because they are extremely exothermic reactions. So that's why fire is hot, because your gas, your wood, that hydrocarbon is burning in oxygen, and that reaction releases a lot of heat, so you feel heat. Okay, so let's look at an example. I've got C2H2, and I need to write the combustion reaction for this. So it's going to react with oxygen, and it's going to produce carbon dioxide and water. Now what I need to do for this is I need to balance. So I've got two carbons on the left-hand side, so I'm going to put a two in front of carbon dioxide. Then I'm going to look at my hydrogens. I've got two on my reactant side, two on my product side, so I'm good. Notice I balanced C's then H's, and then finally oxygens, so CHO. All right, so oxygens, I've got four oxygens from carbon dioxide, and I've got one from water, so that means I need five oxygens on my reactant side. So I'm going to put a 2.5 in front of oxygen. Now, I can't leave it like this. What I've got to do is multiply the entire reaction by two. So I'm going to have two C2H2s. I'm going to have five oxygens four carbon dioxides, and two waters, and that's it. 